Hey y'all, how are all my beautiful friends doing? I hope y'all all are having a great day and welcome back to Crime Time with Mal. My name is Mal or Mallory in case you are new and welcome. I hope y'all enjoy my channel and you decide to subscribe, hang out, and we have a great time over here. First, let me just say, I, I mentioned this in my last video, but in case you didn't see my last video, I want to sincerely reach out and thank each and every single one of you that watched my first video about this. I cannot tell you the overwhelming amount of support I got on that video. I was so nervous to do it because I feel like it is such a very deep and dark and very sensitive topic, but the overwhelming support on that video for Vaughn and his family and there was like no hate on that video and i y'all are just amazing y'all are truly amazing and thank you to each and every single one of you that subscribed from that video and that want a part two i heard all y'all's comments about wanting a part two so i got you here we are if you haven't watched my last one i will link it above here and also in the description box there is a lot that you missed in that last video. So if you have not watched that last video, I highly, highly, highly recommend you watch that or you will be completely lost in this because in this video, we've got a lot to unpack again. In this video, we will be going over things that I did not have time to get to in my last video. We will also be diving a little bit deeper into some of the things that I did talk about in my previous video. Also addressing some of y'all's questions in the comments that I received in my last video. So we've got a lot to unpack here. Let's get started. first thing that I want to speak about that a lot of y'all talked about in the comments in my last video is this paparazzi jewelry. Now remember in my last video I spoke about how Dre was part of an MLM. Now that MLM is paparazzi jewelry. If you do not know they sell extremely cheap jewelry. It's like really cheap five dollar jewelry these consultants buy it wholesale for like 275 or something and they turn around and sell it for five dollars and then that's their profit now all over paparazzi's website they spoke about how they were nickel free they were lead free they were like really proud of themselves for being these heavy metal free companies for such cheap price jewelry until a lot of their consultants started getting sick from this jewelry. Those consultants, from what I can gather, they took some of their jewelry and sent it off to a third party lab testing company. And they tested for all different kinds of heavy metals. And if you are new to this channel, I cannot pronounce words. <laughs> um, so I will just leave basically a list of what's in there, but there's lead, there's arsenic, there is all kind of he nickel, there's all kind of heavy metals in these and they said that it is a dangerous amount. Now, if you are exposed to heavy metals such as this, it is not good for your health. It ha comes with all sorts of health issues. Hello, Dre and Vaughn and their kids have all sorts of health issues. So I'm sure this is not the sole purpose of their health issues, but I'm sure it doesn't help having all that toxic metal jewelry just in your house. Now again, this is alleged, but they do have a class action lawsuit against them, which I found that it got started, I believe in April of 2022, so very recent. These consultants that got sick and that got these tested, they ended up throwing out all their paparazzi jewelry and 75% of their medical issues got better, allegedly. The and I'm sorry, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. All but one piece of jewelry. One piece of jewelry that they took to have tested, tested positive for all these heavy metals. And it, again, it said dangerous amounts. 
One thing I do want to just real quickly say that I did not say in my last video that I really should have said that I wanted to say. And after I was editing it back, I was like, dang, I really should have said this. But in the beginning of Dre and Vaughn's health journey, I really do, I don't know y'all, I really do believe she had good pure intentions. Like I believe that she really did have good intentions. And once she got off these medications and she started using K, I'm not gonna say what it actually is, but if y'all saw my last video, y'all know what I'm talking about, but YouTube doesn't like that word like I suspected they wouldn't, so we're just gonna call it K. So she saw what K did and that it was natural, and I think she got excited, like most of us would. You find an all natural, benefit basically that can help you in places and ways that you are suffering and you love it you become passionate about it and you want to talk about it and i think she became overly passionate about it i think she took it to the extreme which is what addicts do so we'll get more on that later on in this video but i just wanted to mention that real quick now my ADD kicked in there, but talking about this toxic jewelry, she, the, the main reason why I think this is so on people's mind is because she changed her and her family's lifestyle, completely changed their lifestyle to a toxic free lifestyle. And yet their home is filled with toxic stuff. Not to mention the makeup that she puts on her face. I don't believe that's vegan. Actually, she talked about a couple of makeup products in a previous live, several lives, and they are not vegan. So that, again, I don't understand. Conflicting. All throughout her lives and her life, she has conflicting things. So I'm not real quite sure what to believe at this point. Now, before we move on, I want to address someone's comment in my last video. Someone was wondering if he was having his seizures while he was in the Marines and why he was able to be in the Marines if he was having seizures. Now, he did not have seizures while he was in the Marines. He broke his ankle and he was discharged from the Marines. After that is when she changed their lifestyle about two, two, three years ago, I wanna say is when they changed their lifestyle. And shortly after that is when he started having these seizures. And then over the last two years, they became significantly worse because she allegedly took, she as in Dre, allegedly took Vaughn off his seizure medication. So I hope that clears that up. If anyone else was wondering the same question, there's your answer. I hope that clears it up. Now, while we are on these comments topic, let me address another topic. And later on, we're gonna get to some more stuff about Dre and Vaughn and stuff, but I just wanted to clear up some things before we get to all that. So somebody talked about how his mom wasn't the one that raised Vaughn. I did mention that in my last video, I'm not going to air out all of her dirty laundry and her past. It's out there, it's public. If you wanna look, y'all are more than welcome to do your own research, but I personally don't feel comfortable airing out this woman's past. And I will tell you why. Because everybody has a past. Everybody makes mistakes and nobody is perfect. You yourself, each and every single one of you watching this video cannot honestly sit there and tell me, look at me dead in my eyes and say that you are perfect and you have not made one mistake in your life. No, we can't because we are human and that's okay. We make mistakes. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. Now, no, she wasn't the one who raised him, but does that mean that she wasn't in Vaughn's life in his childhood? She was very much in his life and in his childhood. And they had bought an RV, Vaughn and Dre, just bought an RV so that they could travel to Savannah, Georgia. Why to Savannah, Georgia? Because that's where his mom and dad and his family lives. Like I'm excited for getting an RV because for me, it is a priority to, to get to Georgia. And the way that we get to Georgia is gonna be by driving. 
sometime in the near future, we're going to travel to Savannah. I'm most definitely stopping in Houston. Okay. Oh, man, that's going to be I got to see my boot. Amazing trip. It's going to be so... Especially with a second house just being pulled behind us. Our man. travel trailer, dude. Like... We can stop, rest, stop, enjoy where we're, wherever we are. It ain't like I got to go to work. I ain't got to call boss, tell him that I want to get me a uh, beyond want... leave for two weeks or something like that. Yeah. Hey, boss, is it okay if I go see my family? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Never again. You know, I'm actually glad that I, that we, that, that I stopped working in the military and we started working from home mm -hmm. before I started having all this stuff. Before I started oh, having this. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I agree. I feel like they would have... Man, I feel like they would have fired me just for having health issues. But I mean, that's how people are these days. At least that's what I... So, they were still very much a part of his life, clear. In every single one of my videos, you will never hear me hold someone's past against them because everybody makes mistakes. If people held my past against me, that would not be good because I have made my fair share of mistakes, but I am who I am today because of my mistakes. Y'all, y'all understand, you feel me? Letitia's grandmother raised Vaughn. So Vaughn's great grandmother because of stuff that Letitia did in her past that she is not proud of, but she was a single mom. She had Vaughn when she was extremely young and I'm sure she has some regrets and I'm sure she hopefully has accepted those and is stronger and a better person because of the things that she has gone through. And in my opinion, again, this is just my opinion, but from what I have seen and what I have experienced in my own life is from the outsider looking in, Dre drove a huge, huge wedge between Vaughn and his family. Not only his family, but his friends. Dre, y'all have to remember, isolated Vaughn. She controlled every aspect of their money. Everything. She was a very, is a very, I say was because he's in a coma, but she is a very controlling person, allegedly from what we have seen. Now, I also want to clear up a little confusion on what happened in my last video where I play the portion where Dre is filming that his dad, Vaughn's dad, came to the hospital with the stepmom. So, and she wouldn't let them see him. So that was Vaughn's dad and Vaughn's stepmom, his wife. They are not married. Vaughn's parents are not married, but they both live in Savannah, Georgia. If you heard in that recording, you heard her basically saying how she does not want them to see Vaughn. Well, the doctors or the nurse or whoever's talking is saying, basically, that's not how it's gonna go. We're gonna have to let him see whoever comes to see Vaughn is gonna be able to see Vaughn. So the dad and the stepmom did spend a little bit of time with Vaughn, but they would not inform his dad or stepmom about his medical conditions or give him an update or talk about anything medical about them. So she did control that aspect still. Now they are already back in Georgia and Vaughn's mom and stepdad just got in town yesterday, Monday, from when I am filming this, just got in Arizona. They're meeting up with their lawyer and they're going to try to be able to gain access to Vaughn and, and figure out his condition. But they also are not saying too much because they don't want certain people to know their steps, which I think is super smart. So I do think that they need to be on the down low and I think we just need to be all patient and give them respect and they'll be able to share what they find out as soon as they'll be able to, I'm sure. Now y'all have to remember Dre is the power of attorney over Vaughn. So 
I don't like that. That can be a very sticky situation. Now I'm gonna play y'all a clip from May 2nd, 2022. And it is a clip of Dre talking about their lifestyle. But what I want y'all to do is to pay special close attention to what Vaughn says at the end of the video. Not once have I tried to lose weight. Like that was never, like bruh, not once. So quickly. Like it's different when you're finally giving your body the nutrition that it's been needing all this time. Boy, and let me tell you, like, bruh, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. If you are familiar with that, you know, you know that you just gain weight, gain weight, gain weight. If you have thyroid issues, tell the, tell the people in the comments just how sick you are. Go on, tell, tell people. I don't ever want to see how I look again, man. I look so sick. Like, I look like, man, bruh, I, I look like I should have been in the hospital. Is your menstruation? Now look at this picture of Vaughn. This is before they started this lifestyle. And I agree. If when you start to feed your body good food and you will start to feel better. And for some, you might even start to lose weight. But in my opinion, they do not look healthy. This is just my own opinion. I'm not a doctor, but to me that does not look healthy. Like his face and his skin tone and everything just doesn't look healthy and hers doesn't either even her hair like her hair is starting to fall out and i know she wears wigs i've seen her without those wigs before she started this lifestyle and her hair has completely changed for him to say that he looked sick then and he doesn't see anything wrong with how he looks now that's kind of concerning to me. It's so sad, y'all. It is just heartbreaking. And I really do believe that Vaughn really thought that Dre was going to help him, that Dre was going to fix him and figure out how to stop his seizures and make him healthy and well. I mentioned this in my last video, but I, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but from what I've seen and what the definition of that Munchenhausen by proxy, I know some of y'all mentioned that in the comments and I did mention that in my last video when I said the Gypsy Rose case, Gypsy Rose's mom had that and that was what was making Gypsy Rose sick. If you have not heard about that case, it is nuts. Um, but I would do a video on that, but I'm sure everyone and their mother has done a video on that here on YouTube, but y'all let me know if you want me to do a video on it. She even admits in one of her videos, I'll see if I can find it, hopefully I'll be able to find it, that sh her family has a bunch of mental in illness, like it runs in her family. And I think she was not excluded on that run in my opinion and no shame in it no shame whatsoever but at this point she needs help like she desperately needs help and her kids need to get away now i'm going to play you another clip but this time pay close attention to what she says oh 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 but the lady who asked about her son or who mentioned her son having um so for me, what I do is um, there's a small window before my husband would seize because he has a tonic clonic or the grand mall. Mm. Before, before he like violently convulses, um, there is a window of time where he does something which it, he like he does he does something with his mouth. Okay. Um, when he starts doing that and I hear him, what I do is I grab cayenne pepper and I keep like, oh, I don't want to get it. Well, it's in like a little, it's in like a little spice jar, just like this big. I have cayenne pepper in it. I take off the lid, lick my finger, stick my finger in the cayenne pepper and put it under the tongue. It has to be. Uh-huh. So right there you have blood vessels that it soaks directly into the body. A lot of you guys, um, whenever I used to take my pain pills or my fibro 
and for my RA and I, I would take my pain pills. If my pain was really bad, I would chew up the pain pills and let it sit uh -huh, right there for a little bit so that the, my body can absorb it like faster and quicker and have more of an immediate effect. In the same way, that's what you want to do with the cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper almost shocks the body in a good way. So if you're having a seizure, if you're having a stroke, if you're having a heart attack, put it under the tongue immediately. Once my husband is already seizing, like whenever he, once he is already like violently convulsing, it's too late. It, I have to let his seizure run its course. But afterwards, I will give him a cayenne pepper shot. I I don't, I used to give him cayenne pepper shots like every day, several times a day. Now, I do not. I've realized that that is not good for his body. It was causing, because it was such a long time, it was starting to cause an adverse react. Not I want to say adverse reaction, but it wasn't helping. It, it was making his body decline. And that's the thing that I listen to is I listen to his body. Um, whenever he is, I, whenever he's declining, I try to see, okay, what is making him decline? Whenever he's doing good, I'm trying to see, okay, what made him do good so we can keep doing more of that. It's really just listening to the body and seeing like what, what it responds positively to. Now y'all, I don't, I don't know if cayenne pepper can stop seizures. I, ha I haven't researched that or not, so please don't do what she says. If it can, great, but I don't know. But what she said there about the blood vessels under her tongue, that is true. And to me, in my opinion, she kinda told on herself just a little bit, and here's why I think that. She chews up those pain pills to get the effect faster. That is why you chew up a pill is to get the effect faster because it can get into your bloodstream at a quicker rate than just taking a whole pill. That is what addicts do. I know that from experience. Now I'm not doubting Dre when she says that she suffers from Hashimoto's and from rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia. I'm not doubting her when she says that and that she's in pain. There are people out there that really do need these pain medications or else they are in excruciating pain every single day. So when she found that K and she got that relief from a plant instead of having side effects from a prescription, I get that. I get the holistic side. I 100% get it. I myself would much rather take something all natural than pop a pill in my body. But it's confusing because here she is saying that she does not like Western medication she does not like ph big pharma and all that. She does not like it. But here she is in several different videos talking about how she still takes Western medication. My husband is in pain right now. I, whew, I hate as a wife looking at my husband and feeling so helpless like I can't do something to help them and so many times I feel that way we thoroughly believe in the way we are living our life pills are poison and there's nothing no one can say to make us think differently so we are doing everything we can to find what's natural what's good and we are doing so good the other was pain medication that was gonna last three days um, only and I the, I was prescribed three boxes of the pain meds I only bought two so I only had enough for two days and today I took my last so I was taking the pain medication and when I when did I get my two pull uh, or get the yes way it's Tuesday so was it Friday I got my tooth pulled so then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, so that's not bad that I had two days worth of pain meds and, you know, I barely took my last dosage today. So, 
Yeah. But now it's like, okay, I don't have the pain meds, so now I'm going to have to take the red tea, which is fine, you know. At least I have something. I I have a relief, you know. I am not going to be out here just with nothing. <sighs> just but if you go to Andrea McRae here on YouTube, you will see the last video that she posted. I believe it's called something like um, the special tea I take, something like that. Um, but it is titled that it's about an hour long. It's a pretty long video, but it's all about her explaining why she does not take Western medication anymore and why she switched to special tea. But I'm gonna sum it up for y'all because that's what I'm here to do for you, is to research for you. It's about an hour long. So basically she was on three different medications. I'm not, it, it was basically a muscle relaxer, a pain pill and something else. Um, I'm not quite sure, but they were, I believe all narcotics. So because of those side effects from those medications, she decided screw this, she's going to wean herself off of these medications, but without a doctor's help, because pff, why? She knows what she is doing. So shortly after that, she broke her foot, ended up having to go to the hospital, and they treated her like an addict, and, and they gave her two or three days worth of and sent her on her way. Well, she was like, that's not going to even come close to the suffering that I have. Like, I need more than this because I have an autoimmune disease and it hurts worse when you do something. I have a broken foot and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm not doubting her pain, y'all. She really could have been in pain, but and I do want to say, I do know those types of hospitals that you go into the emergency room and they really do sometimes treat you just like as an addict and they give you what they think you were there for and they send you on their way. That honestly happened to me and I almost died from it. I was in the hospital for 10 days. I ended up having to go to another hospital the next day and I got diagnosed with rhabdomyalysis because I worked out too hard and didn't drink enough water. And I was in the hospital for 10 days and almost died because that hospital thought I was just an addict and wanted pills and I don't even like pills, okay? So I get that, I get what she's saying at that. But again, she contradicts herself all the time. So her friend ended up telling her like, cause she knows she suffers from all those autoimmune diseases and she broke her foot. So she's not getting enough of those, so her friend tells her about this K, special K. And I guess that's when she falls in love. I don't know. She contradicts herself all the time, y'all. Then she goes on to say, if you take too much, it can literally physically make you sick. Like she said, it won't kill you, but you will throw up, you'll get shaky, and basically you'll just wanna go to sleep because you'll feel so icky and horrible. Um, and she admitted it to taking too many about, I think she said five times. Different herbs mixed together can definitely be poison. She at least needed to seek the advice from a holistic doctor if she was gonna go that route. Not to mention these medications that she's getting in Mexico, the, m most of us watching this knows what Xanax is. That is a benzo and if you are on that and then abruptly stop that can also cause seizures and she has been caught on her live saying all the time that she has given him one of those and he doesn't even know it so most of us know that dre and vaughn live in arizona now arizona actually passed this law called the kcpa law which is basically a protection act which this set guidelines and restrictions on taking this k so for her going on these lives and admitting to giving this special k and special t to her children right there she's incriminating herself so this next live that I want to talk about. I'm not going to pay, play you the clip because her son Braza is in the clip and I just honestly don't feel comfortable with having minors on my channel. I don't want to 
show it. It is on her channel if you want to go search for it. It's also on that Exposed and Exposing Dre McRae if you want to find that as well. But remember in my last video, I played a clip of her. She was, I believe in her RV and she was complaining about the doctor saying that he has lost 20 pounds since he has been there and she's basically like, so and what? But they're like trying to suggest like, what they need to do to proper, properly care for Vaughn and her, she, she doesn't trust the doctors. So she is basically saying she thinks that they were feeding him poison through his feeding tube and she stopped that. She completely cut that off. She went out of her way to find this alkaline vegan feeding tube. That is what she is making the hospital feed through to Vaughn. So in the end of this clip that she's talking about this alkaline feeding tube so he can keep fit and not have animal protein poison running through his body, um, she basically guilt trips her followers and subscribers into donating to help pay for this feeding tube. And I don't doubt it was expensive, but she, they just got an RV. She lives, her, her income is social media. She does this MLM, which she is very high up in. So I don't, think that she's lacking in money. Now I'm sure the medical bills are racking up. I don't know if they have health insurance or not. So with Vaughn being, I would actually, I would think they would because Vaughn was in the Marines. So I don't know. This is just very weird. Um, the fact that he has lost so much weight because of this diet that she insists on keeping him in, in the hospital, he has lost 20 pounds. Like the sides of his face right here are caved in because he has lost so much weight. It is horrible and so freaking sad that somebody can do this to another person and it's just, it's, it's, it's happening. It's happening. We're watching it. We're watching her slowly hurt her family. And I don't even know if she's aware of it or maybe she is. Now this next clip is on April 22nd, 2022. And she's talking about his seizures listen very closely. I heard Vaughn yell and so I thought that he was having a, you know, especially because yesterday was hard, like with his health, it was very difficult to like, he was not getting well, like he was going down. So then I'm like scrambling, trying to find something that's going to help him, you know, help his body to level out. And it's a little bit different now that he's taking medication. Like I don't want to, I don't want to make anything interact with anything. And yeah, but you know what helped him was the kava. Like I remembered that whenever we were in Tucson, and after he had the first seizure in the truck, I um, I was trying to think, okay, he's going to have one in 45 minutes. Like, I need to give him something. And I gave him kava. And it, keep, it kept his seizure away for 12 hours. Like, that's how powerful, you guys. 12 hours. I'm using black. Like, he had a seizure at 5.30 in the morning, and he didn't have a seizure until 12.30, or I mean 5.30 that, that evening. So, I gave him kava, and literally, that helped him so much. Because he gets, he starts to get, like, really, really tired. But we know it's not like true tiredness. We know it's his body is shutting down tiredness. And 
you know, you would think that Kava would relax, but because his body is like being affected in a negative way, like Kava takes away that stress that the body is feeling. And um, that's why he can take something like that, like Kava, but not be put to sleep. It literally wakes him up. Because if you're going through something, like you're, isn't this such, dude, this is such a pretty look. look at Did you hear that? He's on medication now, so she has to be careful on what she gives him. So she gives him an herb instead of his medication that he's on now. Now remember my last video again, I said that she was a pretty jealous person and she lost her temper quite a bit. If y'all don't know, she has admitted before that she basically forced Vaughn into marrying her. Like he, she met him and she, she knew that she wanted to marry him like immediately as soon as possible. That was her man as she says. She also loses her temper. Now, everyone loses their temper. If you don't, please teach me how, please. I yell at my kids sometimes and I really cannot stand it, but when the two of them are coming at me hard and it's just me, and I have said no a million times or to stop or whatever the case may be, I may scream and tell them to stop. And I feel really bad. And then they're like, why is she yelling at me? It's because I've asked you 10,000 times nicely and you still have not done it. But it's not that type of temper. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a whole other type of temper to the point to where she has said in multiple of her videos that she believes, fully believes, that she is the one that causes his seizures with her temper. Here I am putting out my negative energy out and she was bothered and I felt like she had a right to be because I'm the reason that caused those seizures. Um, and we know, we know wholeheartedly and I'm not saying that to beat myself up. I'm not saying that because I think I'm a wicked person. I'm not saying that because I feel like I need to be punished. Me having to sit there and watch my husband um, completely stop breathing um, and for his body to violently convulse like that, that was, that was enough for me to completely understand that this is not okay. I need to get my, my anger in check. I allowed the stress people give me on social media to overtake me. Number one, I feel like people cannot say, don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. Boo boo. It's. 12.09 at night, I have 2,300 people watching me right now, and I'm getting hella comments and questions. I would love to see you sit here and try to do the same thing. I feel like it's very easy for people to give advice in situations they would never be in, nor could handle, but they're the first ones to say, don't do this. And her daughter also seems to be scared of her. Now, I got this from that exposed Facebook page because I just had to show y'all. Now she's blocked out because again, I don't wanna, I just don't feel comfortable showing minors, but I want y'all to see how this baby jumps. That's hard. Excuse me. Why did you get so startled? Maybe it's because I was talking about my mom right now. The truth already. Now, this is just so alarming to me, y'all. And y'all tell me what you think. Now, I'm a mom. My two kids, when we cook all the time together and they don't jump like that near me, 
that's alarming to me. Like she is obviously scared of her mother. Why? Allegedly. This is just what I see in my opinion. Now, another thing that's alarming to me is that there are a ton of videos after Vaughn is in his coma that she comes on live and she talks about how happy she is. Just all the time, talks about how happy she is. I am so, I'm so thankful to my admins for keeping me oblivious to crap. <laughs> Because I'm just like, I'm here living my best life in McCray Island, oblivious. You might even say ignorant. You know, like, I'm good. Me and my children are happy, healthy, living our best life over here. No, my husband has never been in a coma, so I don't know how I would personally take this. I understand she has three kids that she needs to be up and there and present for, but I would be a mess. Like, I would have a very hard time going on lives with him in the hospital bed and doing the things that she has been doing. And again, maybe she's in denial. I don't know. Just watch this. Cream boo boo. Whoa. <laughs> Let me just post up. I'm not even wearing a bra. Titties all sagging. I don't even care. Nipples hitting my belly. I don't even care. This is life. <laughs> <laughs> and she's feeling good so another huge thing that i have an issue with i'm sure is along with all of y'all is that she is not a licensed medical professional she is not a doctor she has not even sought an holistic doctor or a doctor advice on anything that she is doing. She is mixing herbs and mixing medication that she gets from Mexico and has no freaking clue what she's doing. This is June, 2021. My cousin, she doesn't have Ativan and the border is closed already. I can't go to Mexico. If I do go to Mexico, I have to go to San Luis and I'm really nervous about going that way because I've never been there like with, by myself. Like I've been to Algodones and I'm comfortable, but Mexico is it's a little bit intimidating for me. And plus, I don't know how, I, 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 don't, I don't know. It, it's a diff, I haven't been there before and I don't want to go by myself. So I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. So my tia has a medication called Zol Zolpitin. Zolpitin, I think, I think something like that. Zol, I'm gonna have to look. Does that sound familiar? I so I guess now she's okay with both of them taking this Western medication, then why not just let a doctor handle it? I guess because she doesn't trust doctors. I don't know, but she thinks that she has the knowledge to know what interacts and what doesn't interact with each other. The, Someone please explain to me if I am missing something. And I'm just trying to have compassion, but she's making it real hard. We've been working hard and I'm proud. Are you proud of us, baby? Yeah. I look like we did too. I'm so proud of what we did. You are fine as hell. Baby. I look at you and I want you so bad that it makes me want to hurt you. Hey Google, where can I bury a dead body? Hey Google, where can I bury a dead body? 
I forgot to show y'all something. So in this clip, she's talking about the day that she found Vaughn from his apparent um, trying to unalive himself. So this is the this is the day that she's talking about. I love Daddy so much, and I need him, yeah. and he needs me, and it's very apparent by the way he's recovering and responding. Um, this is not something that I shared with the public. This is only Slay Mafia. So y'all, this is Slay Mafia only, okay? This is what happens here stays here type conversation. That's very cute. Vaughn didn't have a pulse. When, when I seen him, he didn't have a pulse. I immediately did CPR, called 911. They told me how to do CPR. They told me to get over him, put my hand on his heart, and push it like two inches down. And I'm like, my breathing was all crazy because I was freaking out. And then I'm pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. The ambulance gets here. They check his pulse, none, none. He had no pulse. He was gone. They gave him a medication to restart his heart and it did. So when I see the progress that he's making, this is huge. You know, people are expecting him to just open his eyes. And personally, I would not be talking about this in front of the children. I don't think that children need to hear these details. That's just my opinion. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I feel like kids are only so young for so long and we need to protect their innocence as much as possible and they don't need to be hearing these details. Another thing that I find um, questionable is she says that they gave him a medication. Narcan, was it? Narcan? Narcan, for those of you that don't know, is what they give opioid um, overdoses, o OD, can I say that on YouTube? I don't know, but that's what they give them to revive them, and she said it worked. So I'm confused. There's just a lot of things in this police report that don't add up. If y'all want me to go like in my next video, go over this police report like in depth with y'all and let's discuss it together. What makes sense? What does it make sense? And stuff like that. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. I just don't know why they would give him Narcan for what he tried to attempt to do. It doesn't, I feel like I'm missing something. But she also said in a video and she says that they opened his eye and they but she was talking about his pupils and she said that they suspected that he was on substances and she said that he does not take those but they admitted narcan to him and it worked it got the a pulse back now i've heard a few things and i'm gonna go ahead and say here that i am not a hundred percent sure if these things are accurate or not um but i have heard that Dre is no longer allowed to see Vaughn anymore in the hospital. I also heard that CPS is giving Dre nine days to get all of the children, so all three kids, evaluated at a pediatrician and tested within nine days or she loses custody of them or they take them away for the time being. Um, so I believe we're coming up on that nine days if we have not passed it. I don't know. I have not heard any new details. I'm sure if the kids get taken away, we will probably hear something because I will keep y'all updated on that information. And I also heard she was kicked out of the Jehovah Witness Church. Again, not sure if that's true, but that's what I heard. But I'm pretty sure the part about CPS is true because I'm sure they have gotten thousands among thousands of calls and videos and evidence 
sent to them about Dre. And with this being such high profile and CPS not really having a good reputation, um, I'm sure they're doing something about it for sure. And in my opinion, I do think that Dre probably possibly did lawyer up. This is just speculation on my end, considering she has not been on any social media since July 5th. And that's really unlike her. I think she lawyered up and her lawyer told her, <laughs> girl, you need to stop. You need to just stop, just stop. Shh, shh, mm. No, stop, stop it. I am, that's what I think happened in my opinion. I don't know. So I know this was a longer video. Some of y'all like longer videos. Some of y'all like the shorter videos. So I'm trying to give everybody what they want. It's really hard, but I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. And again, all your love on my last video. I cannot thank you enough. I hope this has given y'all some more information and just like a deeper look into what we discussed in my previous video. If you want me to continue, I will continue, of course. And again, let me know if you all want me to go over the police report with y'all and we can discuss it more in depth, like real in depth. I will also update y'all on if Vaughn's mom was able to see Vaughn and understand more about his condition and get more word. Um, once she talks about that, of course, I will let y'all know as soon as possible. Also, I did want to say that there is an open and ongoing investigation in Vaughn's case. So in my last video, I said that it was closed. It is open, baby. It is open and it's ongoing. So that is great news. So we're on a great start. So keep sharing these videos wherever you can on social media to help get justice for Vaughn because some things are definitely fishy and some things need to be looked at because there is definitely foul play in this case. And I think about 99% of y'all agree with me when I say that. Y'all comment down below what your thoughts and opinions are. Again, did I say give this video a thumbs up? I don't remember. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free and it just lets us keep in contact. I want to see more of y'all. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and hear about my videos and also hit that bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a video and set it to all because it should let you know whenever I go live and whenever I upload. And if you want to watch more videos, stay till the end of this video and it will suggest some videos for y'all to watch. And I cannot thank you enough again. I love y'all. Please be safe out there and stay aware of your surroundings and have an amazing weekend. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all. I love y'all. Bye, 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 bye. Y'all are the amazing for staying with me this long, by the way. <laughs> bye.